Chapter 120 Great Auspiciousness, Great Ominous Guhai and Long Wan Yu drove their immortal cranes quickly through the forest. Although the broken army could hear the duo's voices, they wouldn't care at all. It was like standing on a city tower and watching a hundred million people walking around the whole city. One could see everyone, but how could one see every single face? According to the information Sima Chankong gave me, the analysis of the time those people entered the cloud mist area and disappeared. Merdongfang should be in that direction, Gu Hai pointed to the distance and said. Then why don't you hurry up? Long Wan Yu called out. Long Wan Yu, remember. We are not going this time, not to fight, but to talk to Mr. Dong Fang properly, as long as he is not a very difficult person to communicate with. And we chat, it shouldn't be considered a conflict, you should pay attention to your attitude when you are there. After all, there is a request, Gu Hai solemnly emphasized. I know, Long Wan Yu said impatiently. Gu Hai smiled slightly bitterly, perhaps bringing Long Wan Yu out this time was not the right thing to do. Rumble. Steeply. A gust of wind impacted above the duo's head. So many bronze men. Long when you looked at the sky in surprise. Hurry up and go. It will be more troublesome once less miserables comes out later. Guhai said in a deep voice. Newt. The two immortal cranes let out a long cry and instantly quickly dashed towards the distance instantly rushing into the cloud area. The broken army military camp. There weren't many human subordinates, but Gu Hai and the two of them broke into it extremely smoothly. The broken army stood on top of a mountain peak, coldly looking at Jianan city in the distance. Long Shengwu, your army, finally stopped being a shrinking turtle and is willing to come out to fight with me, broken army said with a wave of pride in his eyes. During this period of time, Broken Army alone had forced Zenon's army into the city, not daring to come out. This battle record had already made Broken Army incomparably proud. Boom! Millions of bronze men flew to the outside of Zenon city, row by row, lining up in a very neat procession. The aura of Pi Kiwaniing spewed out, rolling up dust. The generals who went out of the city but their faces changed, after all. The great battles of the past are still vivid in their memories. Those comrades, so far, they are deaf and blind. Broken army revealed a trace of disdain and was about to continue shouting at Long Shengwu when a voice abruptly rang out. Yo Ho, defeated general, also learnt to be proud. A smug voice rang out from the citadel of Zhenan City. Broken army steeply raised his eyebrows his face sank as he coldly said, It's you, Gu Chen. I said that Long Shen Wu had closed the city for a while, so he went to invite Gu Hai. Gu Chen, you also came to send death. The voices of the two great heavenly level kins naturally had an extremely strong penetration, and the dialogue between the two could be heard from afar. Sending death, are you kidding? Broken army, you and I have competed twice. Which time did you beat me? How dare you shout at me even though you are a loser under your command? Gu Chen disdainfully said. When have we competed twice? Broken Army said in a cold voice. Didn't we? In the first match, your what's his name breaking the east wind lost to my ambush on ten faces. In the second match, you and I fought songs, didn't you lose to me? Gu Chen said smugly. Bullshit, who fought with you in song, you fool. You still dare to mention the song. Believe it or not, I'll let you die without a body. Broken Army was instantly furious. Other people listened to Hook Chen's song, also difficult to listen to. But the Broken Army, to the note of the sensitivity of the normal person, is a hundred times a thousand times. Hook Chen sings before. It is on the verge, ready to taste by heart. Which one to Hook Chen's song pentatonic to that degree? that difficult to listen to the strength of the almost let himself music sense collapse. So far, that magic sound is still in the ear, every time echo once, cannot help but a cold shiver. Now, Gu Chen actually did not think that he was ashamed, but thought that he was proud. 
he himself would be defeated by this fall. Also, this group of zither figurines is also, when the silver moon sea, are all the things left over from my play, I don't want it, but you pick it up and play. Gu Chen looked at the millions of zither figurines and said disdainfully, Broken army, what do you mean you played with the leftovers? You did manipulate the millions of zither figurines, but now that the zither figurines have changed hands, they are now my soldiers, not what's left over from your play. You can't compete, and you still like to learn from me. Why don't I teach you how to sing? I've recently composed some more classics, Gu Cheng called out. Broken Army was slightly stunned, suddenly found that he couldn't keep up with Gu Chen's thinking in general. Was there such a jump? Who learnt to sing from you? Fuck off. Go to hell. Stupid. I'm not learning from you. Millions of zither figurines. Attack me. Broken Army said in a depressed rage. Rumble. At once, a roaring sound came from the distance. Gu Hai and Long Wan Yu however, had touched the land of the life formation. Because the soul seed carried by the two of them trembled steeply, it seemed to ripple with a marvellous power, which instantly poured into the two of them, and the two of them were instantly refreshed. Longevity formation. It's arrived, be careful, Gu Hai whispered. Huh, there's a sound barrier here. You can't hear the outside world. Long when you were surprised, Maybe it's afraid that the sound of the zither will mistakenly hurt Mo Dongfang. Gu Hai shook his head. Keep going in. Gu Hai called out to the immortal crane. Nod. The two immortal cranes immediately rushed towards the interior. The news of my mother's ghost is inside. Long Wen Yu's eyes also became firm. Buzz. Steeply, Long Wen Yu's figure trembled, and a trace of blue light suddenly emerged above her right eye. A great evil omen, girl, you can't go in. It's a great evil omen, steeply. The voice of the demon ghost spirit came out. But the voice of the demon ghost spirit, only long when you could hear it. Gu Hai flew in front of him and did not notice any abnormality. Long Wan Yu, however, raised her eyebrows and bit her lip. Little girl, quickly go back. This is a great evil omen, such a strong great evil omen. It will kill people. Quickly go, quickly go. The demon ghost spirit called out. Long Wan Yu's face was very ugly, but she still bit her lip. What for, girl? What's wrong with you? Hurry back, demon ghost spirit said, anxiously. Demon ghost spirit, I remember you said that although the future can be predicted, but the future is not set in stone. As long as one works hard, one can change the future. Long one you said in a deep voice. Of course, the voice was only heard by the demon ghost spirit. What, little girl, you haven't learned to walk yet, and you want to run. You still want to change the future. Tend to good fortune and avoid evil. Evil can only be avoided, can't be changed. Ah, I don't even dare to say that I can change the future. You, you're not even close. Quickly go, demon ghost spirit anxiously said. I'm not leaving. My mother's news is inside. I must know. In this world, I don't have a family member anymore. My sister is also gone. I miss my mother. I miss my mother. Long one you said with red eyes. Asshole lol. Little girl. Don't go. Please. Give a knee. Okay. Ooh. You're going to die. I'm also going to die or. I'm going to go. How I'm so unlucky or. How attached to you, this do not know the heights of the girl. God are, ah, you're playing with me. Woo, demon ghost spirit despaired. Long one you however didn't care at all. Gu Hai twisted his head at the right time and said, Long one you, since you're a prophet, pay attention. If you encounter a great evil situation, notify me in advance. Don't worry, it's a great fortune now, Long one you said. Gu Hai nodded and flew the immortal crane to continue flying towards the interior. Girl, ah, sinful, not only did you seek death yourself, but you also pitied me to death. Pitting me to death isn't enough. You still want to go and pit Gu Hai. Is this considered seeking revenge on Gu Hai? 
demon ghost spirit despaired. Long Won Yu, however, didn't pay any attention at all. Boom. The duo seemed to have rushed through an area of dense fog and suddenly collapsed inside. Ah, help. Don't refine me. I'm a general of the Great Ying Dynasty. The Emperor won't refine me. I don't want to become fertilizer. I don't want it. Help. Inside the thick fog, a burst of ghostly cries and howls came steeply. Guhai hadn't seen it clearly yet. The sitting immortal cranes steeply let out a miserable cry. Newt. The two immortal cranes screamed miserably and steeply turned into a pool of blood. Boom. Guhai and Long when you fell to the ground, but the soul seed protected the two of them. The surrounding air was black. The yin wind was shivering, constantly rushing by. The two immortal cranes were the black yin wind that destroyed the bones and flesh. Long Wan Yu. Gu Hai looked towards Long Wan Yu. Dodgy, dodgy. Long Wan Yu immediately called out. Gu Hai was slightly stunned, dodgy. But he saw a huge ghost pool not far away. In the ghost pool, countless ghosts in the terrified cries, one by one, face grimace. Pain incomparable, infinite fire burning them, ghost pool above an energy pot cover in general. Let millions of ghosts sealed in this cauldron to cook. No matter how miserable call, no one responded. Above a white fog area, the interior seems to hide something, not far away from a high platform. Above the platform, a white-robed child figure. His strangling hand seals in his hands, constantly casting spells on the pot. Is it really dodgy? Guhai looked in front of him and somewhat uncertainly looked towards Long Wan Yu. Yes, do, dodgy, right. Long Wan Yu's face slightly stiffened and said, Great auspicious my ass, great evil. Great evil to the extreme. Guhai, you quickly take Long Wan Yu and escape. I'll go. You can't hear me. Why am I so unlucky? The demon ghost spirit shouted in despair. Gu Hai raised his eyebrows when he saw Long Wan Yu's face stiffen. Unfortunately, it was all too late when a voice steeply came from a distant high platform. Giggle giggle to my formation and still safe and sound to boys. What's the origin? The white robe child suddenly shouted unexpectedly. Gu Hai, meet my Dongfang. Gu Hai solemnly said. Gu Hai. Oh, it's not the kid that Emperor Da Ying has been having a headache with. Your name is really Gu Hai. Mo Dong Fang was surprised. Yes, it's really me. I hope I'm not offended for this disturbance. Gu Hai smiled bitterly. Go 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 go. No offense. It's really no trouble to get what you're looking for. Huh. Kid, you really have good guts. You actually broke into my formation to come. Good, 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 very good ah, go ah. Where's the other little girl? Mr. Dong Fang said with a hint of joy. My name is Long Wan Yu. Long Wan Yu opened her mouth. Long Wan Yu. Oh, the Long Wan Yu from the great Jin dynasty. Go, go, go. Mr. Dong Fang's tone was filled with joy. And Long Wan Yu's right eye was even more wildly jumping. It's over. This great evil omen has already made your right eye jump. This is tragic, really tragic. Ooh, I'm so unlucky. The demon ghost spirit despaired.